Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is uh, so peaceful out right now. only thing I hear is the water in the fish pond right now. It's, it's actually very therapeutical. After all the noise that we've had this week. Well, here's the crazy things, man. Right now, it's so hard to believe anything. You know, everything is about the clicks. It's about the clicks. Jacqueline Gnomes, she sent me uh, a message talking about, uh, God, what's his name? Used to be on first take. Max Kellerman, <laughs> ex-rapper <laughs> extraordinaire. Um, that Dak Prescott will have an, an incredible season and lead the Dallas Cowboys to the Super Bowl. It's starting early. You know, they, they convince us that we have the best talent in the world and everything is great and we're going to be there only to have the rug pulled out from underneath of us. But um, there's so much misinformation out there. Like Micah Parsons literally going through and saying, it sounds it sounds." Like an interesting idea, but there's nothing to it. You know, basically saying there's um, basically a rumor being spread about me and the crew about something we did or were going to do. Um, but basically saying that the Cowboys were going to sign the Honey Badger and that Jerry Jones would talk about it on the fan. And there's nothing to it. I I've seen tweets out there that say Bobby Wagner signing with Cowboys is going to happen immediately. Just so much bull crap, bull jiggity that you got to double check every source that you see. And even some of the big guys out there, they get shit wrong. We just don't know. I tell you what, I tell you what I have faith in. I actually have faith in our quarterback because if you have a quarterback that can play, you got most, you got more than most, and a quarterback can be the difference maker. And here's a thing that's kind of amazing. I know the Dak Prater, the Dak Prescott haters out there. You know they're always going to move the goalposts no matter what happens. You know, some will say Dak is injury prone. Dak is yeah, he's got all these injuries and this, that, and the other. Well, if you think about it, let's think about this for a second. So a guy, guy as they say, can't read defense, is inaccurate, is injury prone, is a dink and dunker, and can't get the ball down the field. And he was hurt. Coming back from the ankle injury. Adam Schefter told you that with the shoulder, he'd never be 100%. Had the calf injury. And then, of course, just a month ago, he had the other shoulder operated on that was bothering him during the season. Damn. Offensive line. Literally just got rid of two, two starters. Mainly because they're overpaid and not worth another contract. Running backs, they had some good games early on, but some of those games going down the stretch, I think I think against the 49ers, I think Tony Pollard and Zeke had less than 40 yards combined. With all that, I got a question. How is it that a dink and dunk Inaccurate, can't read defense, injury prone guy without a running game. How did he 
throw more touchdown passes in one season than any quarterback ever in the Dallas Cowboys history. I'll even do one better. He threw more touchdown passes in two seasons combined more than one of Troy Aikman's. You do realize that Troy Aikman only had one season with more than 20 touchdown passes. That that dink and dunk guy, dink and dunk guy, garbage ass quarterback, that the Dak haters say suck, somehow threw as many touchdown passes as Aaron Rodgers and more yards. I don't understand. I would like the Dak Prescott haters to explain that to me. And here's what I know. When you have a catastrophic injury, it takes your body more than a year. This is my worry about Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup just had surgery a month ago. Thank you. Thinking he'll be 100% ready to go day one of the season? I don't think so. Dak Prescott was still in recovery mode when he went in this past season. You ain't telling me shit. He was still in recovery mode. That shit was not completely healed. That's why the multitude of injuries, because the ankle bone's connected to the calf bone, calf bone's connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone's connected to the hip bone, and the hip bone's connected to the backbone, and the backbone's connected to the shoulders. All these things kind of add up. But having this shoulder worked on, having actually a chance to catch his breath because he went from surgery to recovery to getting ready for the season, there was never a chance for that just to heal. Now, we are nine weeks removed from the last game. His body's had a chance to recover some. And now the work of getting even stronger comes in. And I'm betting, as Dak said, that CeeDee Lamb has just scratched the surface, that they're going to be working together a lot. They're going to get onto the same page. And this is the reason why I personally have hope for the Dallas Cowboys, no matter how much Stephen Jones has messed it up. No matter how little support that they give Dak Prescott, I believe in that guy. And that's the only reason I believe we got hope. Dak haters, of course, will do what they do. And that's fine. That's fine. But uh, kind of late. It's going to rain tonight, tomorrow, into Thursday. Get a little cooler this weekend. Things sometimes change quickly. Sometimes you expect things to be consistent. But then a storm comes through, and it's how you handle things through the storm. So, I appreciate everybody. We have a whole lot of new subscribers. We um, actually shout out. Shout out to you guys. Um, we uh, started, not this weekend, but April 2nd, autograph signing show. Dak will be there. And what we're doing is started building actually a plaque. It's uh, Dak's Charities logo and Dak Prescott. We're going to get that autograph, and everybody who has contributed to the GoFundMe. I think we're about $300 in already. $300 in that we're going to donate to Faith Fight Finish, Dak Prescott's charity. Uh, we're going to give him a check at the Autograph Signing Show. I think it'll be great content and everything else. And, of course, all you guys are there to help make this real. Um, everybody who's in there, who's made a... Uh, donation all you will be put into a jar we're gonna do a drawing for that 
and uh, we'll do some other special stuff for you guys because, you know, this world needs all of us to look out for each other. And if everybody just helped one person, just one person, if you helped one person and you helped one person, and if everybody did that, nobody would need help. So, it's time for me to get out of here, go up here, take my yawning ass to bed. <sighs> Had enough news on the Cowboys today. <sighs> At least they re-signed the punter. Anybody else like $3 million for the punter, but you can't spend money for defensive tackle? Hmm. Can't spend money for an edge rusher? Can't spend money for a linebacker. Hmm. Well, anyway, tell somebody you love, you love them tonight, because you might not get a chance later. And God willing, I'll see you guys, all you good people, and you haters in the morning. Peace out.